Hey guys, it's Treya and Happy Natural Hair Horror Story Week Christmas Edition. So you guys, this week you'll get five natural hair horror stories leading up until Christmas as my gift to you. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy natural hair horror story week. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I do do a series here on my channel where I share natural hair horror stories from all of my subscribers and viewers. I allow you guys to email me your craziest natural hair horror story and I will feature it here on my channel. So if you have any natural hair horror stories that you would like me to feature here on my channel, definitely email me at sentatreyagmo.com and hopefully I will feature it for this week of horror stories. I feel like I haven't done a natural hair horror story in so freaking long, but that's just because I've been trying to put out my other content. I know that everybody isn't here for the natural hair horror stories, but I know that a lot of you guys are here for it, so I'm glad to be doing this series again. So make sure that you go and grab your snacks, your dinner, whatever you need to get you through this Nature Hair Horror Story because it's a pretty lengthy one. So let's just jump into it. So I'm going to put the email right here so that you guys can read it along with me. So it says, hey Treya, my name is Kai. I found your channel recently and I find you so refreshing. Easily one of my favorite YouTubers. Oh, thank you so much. This may be a little long, um, but it's interesting as it is weird. This may not be as crazy as what some stylists have done to people's hair, but I feel like the reason behind why it was done makes it just as crazy, if not more. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little backstory on my first cousin, the one who ruined my hair and my hair journey. So anyways, I'm one of five girls and we all had pretty lengthy hair since we were children. We have similar hair textures, but I am the only one who has really thick hair. Anyways, my hair was permed since I was 14 or 15. My mom wouldn't let us perm it before that. But once we got to high school, she let us decide because we were way beyond the days of her doing our hair. So of course, I decided to do it because we really never got to straighten our hair. So I just wanted long, silky hair. My cousin, who was actually more like a sister to me, had her hair permed from as early as 8 or 9 years old. And once I got a perm, she hated it and tried to make me hate it and constantly tried to convince me to cut it because it was ugly and my hair looked fake. I'm calling right now that this cousin is jealous, but I don't know. Let's keep reading. And I didn't even know why she acted like that until a few months ago. Now that I'm 23, but we will get to that later. I think I'm right, y'all. Let me know what you think already down below. Comment down below what you're thinking because I'm thinking she's kind of jealous, but we'll see. Anyways, my permed hair lasted until a little bit after graduation because I just wasn't feeling the whole concept of chemically straightening my hair anymore. My cousin, the same cousin who was three years older than me, had decided to go natural about six or seven months before that. So of course she thought I was copying her. Mind you, her version of going natural was doing a big chop and not really doing anything to keep her hair healthy or moisturized. I spent so many weekends helping her detangle matted hair and telling her maybe she should style her hair instead of just washing it and putting her wet hair under a wig with no product or oils. Anyways, I didn't do a big chop because I just wasn't comfortable with really short hair because of how my head shape is set up. So I gradually cut off my ends and started my natural hair journey. Girl, when I tell you my hair flourished after I started figuring out what products and regimens work for me, I tried to help my cousin out and help her with her hair journey, and she was so reluctant to accept my help, so I would let her be. Anyways, fast forward to a couple of months ago, August, my hair is almost mid-back length, and I never let anyone touch my hair with the exception of my husband, who gives me scalp massages and even does my trims. Sound like Maurice, but I ain't letting him trim my hair, y'all. I, I ain't doing all of that. He can give me a little scalp massage, but he ain't cutting my hair. Mm -mm. At the time, I'm seven months pregnant with twins, and it's my first pregnancy. And I'm lazy, and I'm tired all the time. My wash day routines are so long, even before I get to styling my hair. The thought of how long and rigorous my wash days were were enough to make me want to cry. So I had skipped two wash days in a row, and my hair was so dry and needed to be washed badly. So I needed someone to wash it. Hmm. My husband was my first choice, but he was out of town on a business trip. He moved up so he wouldn't have to be away around the time the babies were here. So that's where my cousin comes in. 
I did not want to go to a salon just because of horror stories I've heard from relatives and acquaintances. I figured I taught her enough about natural hair over the years and she herself had been natural almost six years and her hair was looking pretty healthy lately. What was the worst that could happen? I mean, it was just a wash, right? Wrong. Um... No. Even just with the beginning of your email, I'm not really feeling your cousin. So I can see a lot of things going wrong in this wash day, but let's just see what happens. We use my own products and combs and elastic bands and everything. And the wash went well. So she kept asking me if I wanted her to twist or braid it and insisting it would be better for my hair since it was so dry. After the wash, I glanced over at my hair, not really too worried because after all, it was just a wash. I put my hair up and wrapped it as it was still drying and I went to sleep for a few hours. Treya, when I woke up, I started rubbing my hands through my hair and the middle of my hair was choppy and crunchy. It was hard to the touch and felt like a four-year-old cut it. There were a total of four spots about three to five inches all around through the middle of my hair. Wait a minute. I thought I thought it was just a wash. How the heck? I I don't know. This cut my hair and did something to make it crunchy. My hair is super thick as mentioned, so at first glance the bulk of my hair covered the chopped parts and it was clear why she was so persistent about twisting up or braiding my hair so I wouldn't notice right away. Wow. Wow. She chopped it in a way that I'd have no choice but to cut my hair. So I went downstairs to her room because she was actually living with us at the time. I asked her point blank, why did you fuck up my hair? I was already screaming and crying. At first, she acted like she didn't know what I was talking about. She literally asked if I needed to lay down and if she should call my husband because, and I quote, you're not making any sense. So I went into her face, literally pulling up my hair and showing her what she did. And she went, oh, I thought you already knew your hair was damaged in those spots. So I didn't feel the need to tell you. I guess you didn't know. So I started screaming for her to get the f out of my house and started pulling stuff out of her drawers and pointing to the door. I turned around, told her she needed to be gone in 30 minutes or I was going to call the cops. I went up. I went upstairs and tried to calm down. I went into the nursery and just rocked on the rocking chair because it was calming to me. I stayed in there for about an hour, then I took a shower and conditioned my hair again, trying to get whatever she put in it that made it crunchy. I finally went back downstairs to find her in the living room with the suitcase staring at her phone. She looked up at me and she said, just waiting for an Uber. I looked at her and made my way to the kitchen without saying a word to her. I ordered some pizza and wings and by the time it got there, she was still in my living room. I started walking upstairs with my food and told her to leave the key when she left and she just starts bawling. I just get so angry because it's always so easy for you. Everything. She was going on about how my life was perfect and how I would always rub in her face how much better I was. I always knew she was insecure, but I didn't realize it had gotten that bad. She said she cut my hair just to show me how I made her feel on an everyday basis. Wow. I honestly wasn't even mad in the moment. I felt so bad for her. I'm guessing it was the hormones or something because even writing this, I'm low-key livid. We had a super long discussion and she admitted that she had always been in some weird sort of competition with me since she could remember. She felt like once I had gotten a perm almost 10 years ago that I was trying to show off how much longer my hair was than hers and I've been trying to humiliate her ever since. Wow. After all that, I realized that there was no Uber coming and she told me how she had no money and nowhere else to go and wouldn't have money until she got paid again. I let her stay until the following Friday, but I just couldn't live with her anymore because I didn't trust her, and she admitted to making knots in my hair and putting black gel on them, so I'd have to cut them out. Shaking my head. Wow. My hair's cut now to a little past shoulder length, and some pieces she cut are still much shorter than that. 
To this day, we don't speak unless she randomly sends a text and I haven't seen her since she came to the hospital after I delivered. Arguably, one of the most weirdest, craziest parts of the story is that she's the one that told me that I should send you this story as a part of your natural hair horror story series. Wow. Wow. Anyways, thank you for your time, Treya. I know this was super lengthy and not the typical horror story, and I apologize. Keep up the good work with your channel. I love the horror stories and all of your other content. And also, congratulations to the newest addition to your family. My baby girl's name is Ryan as well. We had a boy and a girl. Awesome. Still shook. Ka. Ka. What the heck? Oh my god the last part had me shook okay let's let's talk about it all right y'all so i know this story is gonna make you guys mad i know you are in the comments going in um wow already from the beginning of the email i already felt that the cousin felt some type of way it was a little bit jealous but i didn't really want to confirm it but what the Heck, the fact that she told you to email me to put it in this next Horror Horror Story series, um, it says a lot. Okay, I already felt that the cousin was jealous just by the beginning of the email when you said that she was trying to convince you to cut your hair, saying that your hair was ugly and it looked fake. Like, she was a hater, but for her to actually cut your hair when she was supposed to be washing it, for her to cut your hair and then purposely put knots in your hair so that you have to cut it that's real up that's that's real shady that's grimy i don't mess with that and i know you guys that are watching this video are just livid okay because that's just so wrong like you're that jealous of her and her hair that you go and do malicious stuff like that just doesn't sit well with me because if you're gonna do that i don't know what else you're capable of doing like I don't know these natural hair horror stories get pretty crazy and if you're jealous of me and you want to do something to ruin my hair i'm not gonna trust you at all i'm, I'm not gonna trust you because you're jealous of my hair meaning you're jealous of me so i don't know what else you would do to cause harm to me to make me feel bad like i don't i don't mess with that like if you're gonna do that how do i know you're not gonna do something else like you get what i'm saying and I do feel bad that she's that insecure that she would do something like that. But I don't know if I would be able to trust you. Like, I'm, it'll be really hard to try to trust you again because I don't know what you might do. Like, if you get a better job than her, would she try to sabotage that? Like, I don't know how far she might go just because... Of her insecurities and it's really sad that she's that insecure that she would try to do something to make you feel less than like it's really messed up and just like you after knowing what she did i wouldn't be able to live with her at all either because at that point i feel like the trust is broken i just really feel like you need to distance yourself away from negative people like her vibe and her telling you that your hair was ugly and that you should cut it and all of that is just subtle ways of showing how insecure she is and like i said before you don't know how far that insecurity might lead her so yeah you really need to watch out for people who you think are jealous of you just because you never know what they might do she couldn't figure out what to do with her natural hair and it made her feel some type of way but that's never okay that's not an excuse to do that to someone especially your own family so yeah, you guys have to let me know what you think in the comments. What would you have done? Okay, let me know because I know some of you guys are angry. So let me know what you would have done. And thank you so much, Kai, for sharing your natural hair horror story with me. It's still crazy that she told you to write... It's still crazy how she told you to write into me. But anyway, I'm glad you did. Thank you so much, Kai. If you guys have any natural hair horror stories that you would like me to feature here on my channel, definitely email me at sentatray at gmail.com. If you guys are excited for natural hair horror story week, give the video a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another crazy horror story. Bye, guys. Hey.